Hey Cancer, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the end of April of 2024. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have the sun at the bottom of the deck. Whoa. All right. So for some of you, it kind of feels like there is a very, very happy new beginning in your life. For some of you, it could be a child. Um, maybe there's something happening in your life right now where it's like your family is growing, your relationships are, you know, um, at the center of your life at this time. I'm just getting a lot of like happy, jovial, childlike vibes. I feel like with the sun card, it's also hard to deny um, that there's something happening right now, Cancer, where it's like you could be having one of the best experiences of your lifetime right now. I feel like end of April is just going to be such a, it's going to be one for the books. You know, whatever it is that's happening in your life right now, whether it's a child, a marriage, um, you know, it's it's something that is going to be something that you will probably want to record or document or remember because it's there's nothing else like it we have the wheel of fortune three of cups lovers which is gemini six of cups so that's a lot of passion that's a lot of love that's a lot of water so many emotions but the best kind i feel like with the wheel of fortune things are not only changing for the better but it's kind of like things are happening faster than you could have anticipated in the best direction possible also with the three of cups there's something happening in your family life or your home life you know within your relationships that is just it's bringing so much joy um that a lot of you could be reminiscing also about you know past experiences in a different kind of light i feel like some of you could be thinking about you know certain uh, moments or memories and it's like it's bringing back a lot of things that may just inspire you to make more of them so I feel like for you, Cancer, it's like your love for someone is really kind of becoming very clear or someone's love for you is becoming very, very clear. But it's it's kind of like there's just so much. I, I can't even explain it. It's just it's overwhelming in the best way possible. I'm like, I can't contain all of it almost. Right. It's like how much how much love could I possibly it's it's i just i don't know let's clarify that that lover's card king of pentacles maybe you're connecting to an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn uh but we also have the king of cups eight of wands six of swords some of you are getting such good news about something that's happening in the near future with that six of swords you're going to see something really move forward in a direction that's going to make you very happy even with this king of cups it's like you may really you may feel very confident about something that at one point in your life you didn't feel that confident about so it's like you're getting this you know confirmation this validation of something that you've accomplished or will accomplish and i feel like with that eight of wands this good news is then going to bring you a sense of peace because it's no longer you know this this situation of you having to wait for something to happen it's like it's not only going to happen but it's going to be you know, better than you imagine. So with that piece, right, comes this stability. So with this King of Pentacles, a lot of you could be entering into, you know, a phase of your life where you don't have to worry about certain things anymore. You may be walking into, you know, an environment where there's an abundance of, you know, love. There's an abundance of peace. There's an abundance of, you know, stability. Some of you could be, you know, joining, um, it's kind of like when you're in a relationship and it's kind of like you get this you get this extension of family right because now you know your partner's family they become your family i just feel like there's this growing like community around you right now cancer let's clarify the wheel of fortune nine of swords yeah, I mean, I feel like a lot of you went through a lot before this period of time, you know, so it's like it makes it even more, I guess, sweeter that way. Um, right? It's like it kind of reminds me of that phrase that I love, you know, no mud, no lotus. It's like you kind of have to go through a little bit of mud to sometimes find the most beautiful flowers. So honestly, Cancer, I almost feel, you know, kind of like this very, like, serene 
feeling. You know, I, I almost can't describe it very well, but we have the Three of Wands, the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo energy, and the Eight of Cups. Some of you walked away from a situation in your life in the past that now, in retrospect, you realize has brought you here. And I feel like when you think about where you were and where you are now, you're starting to make that realization that you manifested it. And I think that that's such a special moment when we kind of can go back to the past and think about everything that we've been through and everything that we've now accomplished and realize, wow, I did that, right? So you could be having that moment right now, Cancer, where you're saying, I did that. I manifested everything that I could have wanted, you know, even though at one point I was in a place that I didn't think I would ever overcome. So this is such a beautiful energy. I absolutely love this for you just that wheel of fortune alone with the lovers three of cups just so much so much love really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one